Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a man who alleged to have been involved in the murder of a drug supplier that said he was a bit of a blagger but denied that he ever said that his friends had killed a man, a court heard. Karim Barlow is one of four men accused of killing of Mr Ray on July 12, 2019 in a lay-by in Shepherd's Farm Lane, Corehampton. A trial at Winchester Crown Court was told earlier that Mr Barlow was referred to as the King of Bullshit and he admitted that on occasions he exaggerated saying that this was make myself the big I am. A gangster, prosecutor Andrew Langton QC put it to Mr Barlow, no one should rely on anything you say because your tendency is to exaggerate your importance and big yourself up. In text messages to his friends and women he would often lie, on one occasion he sent a message saying Cosa, Barlow's nickname, is starting something. In court he said, I was talking rubbish, I am just boasting, just making myself out to be something I'm not. And on another occasion, after the safe houses involved in co-defendant Aston Hannis drug operation were robbed, he sent a text saying, strap man to bike, I'll do it, when talking about who they suspected to have carried out the attack. Mr Barlow said that a strap meant a seatbelt, but Mr Langdon asked, have you ever heard a gun or firearm referred to as a strap? The accused said he probably had. Mr Langdon asked whether Mr Barlow talked about shooting. He denied this and said, I'm a bit of a blagger. Some of the stuff I write in a text message doesn't always make sense. A trial previously heard from Mr Barlow's work colleague, Morgan Tarrant, who said that after Mr Ray's murder, he told Mr Tarrant that they have done it. Have you heard? They have killed him, referring to Mr Hannis and others. Mr Barlow denied this and said he told him what was on the news and I was shocked about it. Mr Tarrant also claimed that the murder accused offered him 4,500 to look after the gun. Mr Barlow said, I gave him a gun, that is true. I never bloody told him for four and a half grand. I wouldn't. He added, he was going on about it and I just gave it to him. Mr Barlow alleges that he was not able to keep the gun at his partner's house and Mr Tarrant repeatedly spoke about wanting to use it, so I gave it to him. Mr Langdon put to Mr Barlow, you didn't want this shotgun in your possession did you? because you knew exactly what it had been used for. The accused replied, I didn't want to get rid of it, no. I could have asked for it back whenever I wanted to. I just said, look, hold that for me. Mr Langdon questioned whether Mr Barlow could be sure whether the gun was not used in the murder. Mr Barlow said, I just know it wasn't used in the murder, but when asked again he replied, well, I don't know, do I? Earlier in the trial, Mr Tarrant said he told Mr Barlow he had cut up the gun, when in fact he had hid it in a wooded area in Whitchurch, near Basingstoke, he later showed the police. Mr Barlow's barrister, James Newton Price QC said, did you at any stage suggest to him that he should cut it up? He replied, no, it was my gun, I didn't want that going anywhere, it was worth money. Mr Barlow said that he had bought the gun at a car boot sale and that was not expecting someone to sell a real gun at a car boot sale. When questioned by Mr Langdon, he said, I didn't know it was real. I have never opened that gun. I think I have tried to once. I pushed the button but it didn't open. Experts previously said that the gun did not work and that it had been fired by them, but they could not conclusively say that it was used to kill Mr. Ray. Aston Hannis, 30, of Lair Gardens, Eastleigh. Charlie Statham, 30, of Crescent Close. Oliver's Battery, Mr. Barlow, 41, from Hawley, Surrey. And Paul White, 27, of Dyson Drive. Abbott's Barton, all deny murder. Philip. Hoden, 43, of Longwood Dean Lane, Aylesbury, denies participating in the criminal activities of an organised crime group. The jury had been sent out to consider its verdict in a trial of five men accused of being involved in the murder of a drug supplier in Layby. Four men on the trial accused of killing Mr Ray in Shepherd's Farm Lane, Corthampton, on July 12, 2019. Mr Ray was found the following day with two gunshot wounds. The prosecution claimed that Mr Ray's murder was a planned assassination after tensions rose between Mr Ray, also known as G, and Mr Hannis following the robbery of a safe house involved in the Hannis' drugs operation. Mr Hannis also had a large outstanding debt to Mr Ray. Andrew Langton, QC, prosecuting, told the jury earlier in the trial that he fatal shots that killed Mr Ray were believed to have been fired from the Mercedes A-Class saloon car containing Mr Hannis and Mr Statham. The pair are believed to have then dumped the car in a field where it was set alight and then they were picked up and taken to the home of Mr Hoden. The weapon, a sawn off Beretta 12 bore shotgun, was supplied Mr Barlow, the prosecutor said. Mr Hannis claims that it was not him who killed Mr Ray, but the two Liverpudlian men visited his home on the night of the murder, taking his phone 
money owed to Mr. Ray and the Mercedes that he bought for his drugs runner. The accused said to the jury that the men later phoned and told him that they had killed Mr. Ray. Mr. Satham has said that he was a dribbling mess on the night of Mr. Ray's death after he had been drinking and taking drugs. He told the court he had taken 12 to 15 Valiums that evening and had no memory of that evening. He corroborated Mr. Hannis's claim that two men had visited Mr. Hannis' home in East Leigh. Mr. Hannis and Mr. Statham say they travelled to Mr. Hoden's with Mr. White on the night of July 12th to watch Amir Khan's comeback fight. Mr. White said that he travelled alone, taking Mr. Hannis's Audi Q7 from his home. Mr. Barlow has denied supplying the gun, but the prosecution says killed Mr. Ray. He told the court that he bought the gun to hang on his wall. It is agreed that Mr. Barlow was not in the Winchester area at the time of the murder, but was at his partner's house in Haywards Heath. Mr. Hoden has denied that he provided a false alibi for his co-defendants and a base to use following the murder. The two men have been jailed for life for the assassination of a drug supplier who was shot dead in rural Labour. The body of Mr. Ray was found in a Ford Fiesta in the countryside lane in Corhampton, Hampshire by two horse riders on July 13th, 2019. Dealer Aston Hannis, 30 of East Leigh, was found guilty at Winchester Crown Court of the murder of 41-year-old who was originally from East Leigh but was more recently based in Cheshire. He was jailed for life with a minimum term of 35 years. Co-defendant Charlie Statham, 30 of Winchester, was also convicted of murder and jailed for life to serve a minimum of 28 years. Paul White, 27, of Winchester, was jailed for 15 years for manslaughter, while Corin Barlow, 41, of Hawley, Surrey, was sentenced to 17 years, also for manslaughter. Andrew Landon QC, prosecuting, told the trial that the fatal shot which killed Mr. Ray, known as G, was fired from a Mercedes A-Class saloon car containing Mr. Hannis and Mr. Statham. Detective Chief Inspector Dave Storey said, Today marks the end of a long and complex investigation following the assassination of Mr. Ray. We hope that today's sentences give the friends and family of Mr. Ray some form of closure. I would like to thank all of the officers from across the force who worked to bring these four men to justice. So what are your thoughts about Corin Barlow and his infamous ability to lie and talk bullshit? And how four other men who killed Mr. Ray with a sawn off shotgun? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.